And tonight, the better men did not win. But hey, that's life, and that happens. Speaking of life, it was exactly 10 years ago. I made up my mind, I packed my bags up, and I went to Lima, Ohio, and I got trained by Al Snow. in two places, and I was temporarily paralyzed. Now, for me to get back in this ring, I must have the biggest heart, I must love this business with everything I got, or I must be crazy. I mean, I hear some people say, hey Truth, you're not playing with the full deck. Man, I ain't playing with nobody. I'm dead right serious. I make a living at professional wrestling. And that brings me to one point, and I'm shooting with you people right now. I don't do it that often, but out there, there are backyard companies. Flash. There are backyard companies. Flash outlaw companies out there. Now, what that does is that makes a mockery out of professional wrestling. That is a slap in the face of professional wrestling, okay? Now, it doesn't sit well with me because I live, eat, and breathe this business, and I'll be damned if I let some motherfuckers make a mockery of my past 10 years. Not only are they my making a mockery out of us, out of everybody in that locker room and the guys who gave me a start in this business like DBA, like AT Hawk, all those people, nothing is given to you in this business. You have to earn it. And I have been earning my spot in this business through hard work. I bust my ass for you people and to have some motherfuckers set up a ring somewhere and call themselves wrestlers or they never pay their dues, I'll be a motherfucker, I'll never let that stand. Never! Oh, I am sick of this shit. You cannot make a mockery out of my life. I will not let that stand. But it is a new year, 2008, and I'm gonna have a new attitude. 2008, you are gonna see some different things from the fun-loving criminals. And as far as pro wrestling and me are concerned, I quit. <laughs>